Ya sé lo que están pensando. Mucha confianza para llamarme pinche gringo, ¿ah? ¿eh? Nah, nah, broma. Mira, bienvenidos a otro video. Ya sé que ustedes me siguen en línea porque soy un gringo bien, bien mexicano. Para los que no me siguen, me presento como Ford Quarterman. Pues hoy estoy aquí para contar una historia de otro gringo que también está enamorado de México, también vive acá. Es un empresario y con su empresa ha creado un espacio que no solo representa nuestra cultura gringa de los estados pegados de América, pero también sirve como un lugar de intercambio donde nosotros, los gringos y ustedes los mexicanos, nos podemos interactuar y conocerse de una forma mutuamente respetuosa. Estoy hablando del pinche gringo barbecue, así que acompáñenme chicos, vamos. Bienvenidos a Pinche Gringo Warehouse en Polanco, la ciudad de México. Eso es su segunda ubicación. El restaurante original ya se encuentra por otro lado, pero han tenido tanto éxito que han construido el segundo restaurante y como pueden ver, es bien grande. Pero, ¿sabes qué? Voy a dejar que Dan, el mero pinche gringo, cuente su historia. Así que vamos a ver, vamos a encontrar Dan. Vamos. Con gusto les presento a Dan DeFossi Es el dueño, el patrón, el papá de los tomates aquí en Pinche Gringo Barbecue Es el pinche gringo, de verdad ¿Ustedes siempre creían que yo era el pinche gringo? No Y aquí estoy con el verdadero, el mero pinche gringo ¿Cómo estás, Dan? Bien, pero creo somos pinche gringos bueno, Ok, okay. <risa> somos okay. dos, somos dos Somos los dos Es nuestra batalla juntos para ser los pinches gringos, ¿no? Exactamente ¿Tú tienes Valentina corriendo por las venas? Claro. Pues yo tengo habanero, güey. Sí, un poco de limón. Un poco también. de limón. Ahí. Sal. El punto es que somos <risa> dos gringos que, pues, amamos México. Muy rápidamente, ¿qué es pinche gringo? Pinche gringo barbecue es una idea para presentar una cultura auténtica en la ciudad de México. Aquí en, en México tenemos mucha cultura de Estados Unidos. La televisión, la música, es el mass media. Pero aquí en pinche gringo tenemos la habilidad para celebrar las fiestas y conocer este, la cultura auténtica de Estados Unidos. Hay muchos restaurantes exportados por muchos lados del mundo de los Estados Unidos y que les vale madres la cultura local. Aquí, that's not how you are, bro. Pinche gringo is a concept of American barbecue. And I would say, if I can, Southern American barbecue. I'll say from the south of the United States, Texas, right? Hill Country, Texas. Let me so. explain about barbecue that, and you pointed out before that we have a lot of American restaurants here in Mexico, but it's a exported uh, from frozen food and processed food that a lot of restaurants in the U.S. has. But yep. the beauty of barbecue is it's steeped in deep history that goes over 200 years. It started with the slaves and the owners of the plantations were giving their extra meat to the slaves and they didn't give them a means to cook with. So the slaves found ways to smoke their meat and using wood and things from the forest uh, to make their meat. And the cool thing is that with Ford we get to present that here in Mexico because a lot of Mexicans think that, again, we are frozen food, McDonald's, and hamburgers, and, hamburgers french and french fries. Yeah, that's part of our culture, but there's a lot of other deep culture, just like Americans think that Mexican food is, you know, crispy tacos and American cheese with sour cream and lettuce, uh, which is not true. So Taco bowls we in the Trump Tower. Cultures have different things that we think about our food that is really not true, and I have the ability to present our authentic cuisine that is deep, deep in history and is very artisanal because we take 14 hours to cook our food only with smoke to Mexico City and a largely Mexican population. Todos saben que a mí me encanta comida mexicana and I'm sure you do as claro well. Que sí, me gusta mucho el mole, me gusta tacos al pastor, uh -huh. me gusta la comida yucateca de Mérida, los panuchos, cochinita los, pibil, los paninos de, de queso, son mis favoritos de Mérida, sopa de lima, pollo negro, ay, ay, ay. quesadillas, me encanta comida mexicana, pero tenemos oportunidad también para los mexicanos, pero ellos tienen un poco oportunidad para visitar aquí para ver la autenticidad de la comida gringa. Sí. And the other thing is that a lot of Americans think that here in Mexico that we're in front of a cactus with a pancho and a sombrero with a guitarra with a donkey next to us <laughs> in a desert drinking a tequila with a worm inside and uh, some of my friends think it's crazy that uh, I'm wearing a sweatshirt today because it's really cold outside. So the way to break that down 
is to do a cultural fusion where people can understand each other's cultures and that's what brings down walls and that's what makes people more comfortable because I think the whole thing with the immigration and whatever is everybody's nervous because they don't understand the other person's culture. So how do we bring those cultures together in, in unity? Because you know there's 11 million Mexicans in the United States and there's over 1 million Americans living here. So we are friends, we are neighbors. We're neighbors, and we're among bring down those walls. That's no matter right. what your political affiliation is, we have to bring down the walls. Right. And what's the best way to do that? Interacciones. Getting together, meeting each other, speaking one-on-one, -on -one, shaking their hands, looking someone in the face. And if you can do that with a good meal in front of you and good, delicious, typical food in front of you, well, that's even better, right? Yeah, and that's just that. We celebrate a lot of cultural things here, like 4th of July, that we have a brisket eating contest, which is like our Nathan's Hot Dog Contest in the United States. We do the Super Bowl. We have a Thanksgiving dinner where we sell 2,300 plates. And there's three groups of people. There are Americans that live here that want to celebrate Thanksgiving authentically. There are a lot of Mexicans that come that have lived, studied, worked in the United States before that want to celebrate. And then there are Mexicans who have never been to the United States before and have only seen Thanksgiving dinners on movies and on TV. So when everybody comes here together and shares a beautiful holiday that is steeped in a tradition of just giving thanks and being grateful for who we are, it's a beautiful day here at Pinche Gringo. And those types of things is what we keep on doing to really bring the cultures together and yep. unite because that's what it's all about because it's all of our politicians talking about how this is and scaring people to win political gain and talking bad about the other culture but it's only our politicians yeah it's not us it's not the pueblo son los gobiernos right and i personally think they look to divide us because we're easier to control that way just to win you know win elections you can you know scare people into making up things about the other people and then people will believe it because if they've never seen someone from that culture before how else do you know except for what people are saying on tv right and i wanted to ask you how long have you been in mexico cuántos años llevas in mexico sí, he vivido en mexico casi 10 años soy chilango gringo <laughs> es mi país es mi hogar es en mi corazón y tengo mucho orgullo de soy parte del crecimiento de esta ciudad hermosa what do you like about living in mexico what country in the world has the amount of color you know the different type of colors what type what country in the world has the type of food the cuisine that is all over the world you can find mexican food everywhere because it's so rich in tradition and history and, and such great fresh ingredients what city can you live in with the type of weather that we have oh god what, so what good. capital city do you live in where so one good. hour north you're in the desert one hour east you're in beautiful mountains with snow one hour west you're like and you're in british columbia with with evergreen trees and lakes and then you go one hour south and you're in the jungle yeah. and then we have the best beaches in the world so you know it's like you know again like i understand that we have our struggles but there's no country like this and the people are wonderful and people with open arms and one of the things is people ask me a lot is that have I ever felt any like uh, racism as being an American having a restaurant called Pinche Gringo here in Mexico and the answer is no never never right. has anybody ever told me something bad or go back to your country whatever and I'm so grateful and fortunate to have that and I'm not sure that Mexicans in the United States would receive the same treatment right. I think it's true you know? I think uh, I agree with you estoy de acuerdo nos da mucho coraje it's something that makes us sad and it's something that we want to change you know and we want to show that not all gringos are like that all right and we want to show that there are gringos people from the united states that do really love mexico and mexican culture and appreciate you guys yeah. and we can even with this example bring a little bit of our culture to you guys but in a respectful way i think right? so yeah i mean and also mexico city is becoming an international city i think there's a lot of innovation and new culture and the definition of an international city is that you have a great way to celebrate your culture. It's important to celebrate Mexican culture, but it's also important to have spaces for other cultures to be celebrated and thrive here because there's such a diaspora of countries from all over the world. So I'm very proud to have English speaking events and activities for people who want to try something new and for Americans to feel at home here in this beautiful city and that's what we're out to do here at Pinche Gringo. And it's something that really me llamó la atención sobre su historia y sobre su restaurante es que también da trabajo a deportados. Mexicanos que han sido deportados, sacados de los Estados Unidos, que no tenían donde ir. Dan here looked for the way to employ them and to receive them back into Mexico, right? Sí. But with a little bit of the United States. Oh, like pobrecitos, a, no, ellos son deportados, ellos tienen familias en Estados Unidos y buscan trabajo en México, pero algunos deportados no viven en México por toda su vida y no hablan español. Y ellos 
buscan un lugar, me siento cómodo, me siento como un pieza de Estados Unidos porque ellos tienen mucho extraño yeah. de su país. When we're trying to give you know these opportunities, they come together and they have a family here of other deportees that have gone through the same experiences. So I feel like they can really heal here and build a new family in Mexico. Aquí me encuentro con Hugo, ¿no? Hugo, mucho gusto. Uno de los deportados empleado por pinche gringo, ¿no? ¿Cuántos años viviste en los Estados Unidos? 10 años viví por allá. ¿Por cuál lado? En Florida. ¿A qué te dedicabas ahí mientras estabas en los Estados? Trabajé primero en construcción un par de años y después en la cocina. And tell me, what do you miss about the United States being here back in Mexico? Oh, a lot of things. My friends, like the, the places, like mostly the like connections I made over there. The connections. Exactly, yeah. Pinche gringo te ha servido más o menos como un amortiguador entre la transición de vivir en los Estados Unidos y de vuelta aquí en México, ¿no? Sí, definitivamente ha sido como tú dices, ¿no? Un amortiguador que me ha hecho, en cierta manera, que sea más suavecito la, el cambio de Estados Unidos a México. Realmente, pues tú sabes, ¿no? El choque cultural es muy complicado, pero pues pinche gringo definitivamente me ha ayudado mucho. ¿Tú crees que pinche gringo como es un buen lugar de mezcla entre nuestras culturas? Un lugar donde se puede encontrar la gente de los dos pueblos y interactuar y conocerse y entenderse un poco más. Definitivamente, sí. aquí al restaurante viene mucha gente de Estados Unidos, de Canadá, de otros países y celebramos las diferencias ¿no? que tenemos, que somos, que nos hace pues realmente ser humanos. Y una última pregunta, Hugo. ¿Tacos al pastor o un buen brisket? Híjoles, mira, un buen brisket pero con tortillas. Ah, <risa> bien ahí. Muchas gracias. Pinche Gringo from for your restaurant. The word Pinche Gringo gives us a little bit of laughter and humility and a connection because you know a lot of people think the word Pinche means fucking or darn or damn and what you know, the word Pinche for me means is friendship, right? Yeah, I can say, hey Pinche Ford, how are hey, you Hey Pinche then, cabrón, exactly. what's going on bro? And then we're breaking the ice between the two of us and that's what we're trying to do with right? Americans and Mexicans is break the ice and come together. Right? So these are our smokers. We call them our black torpedoes, but they're actually propane tanks that we cleaned out. We're pretty ecologically friendly because we do not use gas or electricity to cook our meat. It's all wood that, you know, needs to be all cut wood down. Fired oven. Now, these are basically, our smokers aren't on right now, but all of the smoke passes through. So we have four menu items. We have brisket, pulled pork, sausage, jalapeno and cheddar, and a kielbasa, and ribs, and we also have turkey uh, that we smoke. The brisket and pulled pork takes about 14 hours. 14 hours, 14 14 hours. hours. No manches. Because you're just cooking with the smoke, solo con el humo. Claro, este, nuestros parrilleros empiezan a las 10 y media, 11 de noche y cocinan todo, todo, todo de noche alrededor de reloj y otros parrilleros a las 7 de la mañana y otro parrillero a las 3. Y para asegurar la carne caliente y rico. Bien suave, Bien pinche rico. Bien pinche rico. <laughs> To gringos in the United States seeing this video, what would you like to tell them? I think that the Americans have a very, very different perspective of Mexico than what it is. And I think there's a lot of fear from the media because people like to bunch Mexico into one place. And what happens in this city is something very different than happens in another. And I think that people should bring down their fear and be open and come down here and, and, and sample the most amazing city in the world and all of its culture and all of its beauty. Mexico City, truly a world-class city. World-class. ¿Qué dirías a los mexicanos viendo este video? Mira, me encantan mis chiles torreados y agua jamaica, agua horchata, pero ¿quieres probar algo diferente? Abrir sus mentes, hay, hay un cosa diferente y aquí en la Ciudad de México tienes oportunidad para probar algo muy delicioso aquí en Pinche Gringo y aprender una otra cultura distinta. Es cierto, es la neta, la neta del planeta. arte carnal un infarto de corazón también pero vale la pena 14 horas de chamba para llegar a ese momento me 
encanta la comida mexicana, me encanta, todo el mundo sabe eso, pero de vez en cuando me hace falta un buen pedacito de brisket estilo sureño de los Estados Unidos barbacoa. A veces el pinche gringo necesita un poco de la comida de pinche gringo. Bien hecho, ¿ah? ¿eh? Muy bien hecho. Pues Dan, te quiero agradecer por darme un tour de tu lindo restaurante, tu lindo warehouse Un lugar donde se puede venir gente de distintos países, de distintas culturas, distintos pueblos Para interactuarse, conocerse y compartir un poco de su historia de una forma mutuamente respetuosa Eso es lo que nos hace falta en este mundo Así, people from the United States and Mexico can understand each other Absolutely I think it's wonderful that you came here today because I know you've been going all over Mexico to share this type of thing and uh, we've been very honored to have you here today. Thank you buddy. I appreciate it. Thank you man. No duden en venir a pinche gringo if you guys want to eat some of the best barbecue you've ever eaten. Dentro o fuera de los Estados Unidos. Well you have a little bit right here in pinche gringo in Mexico City. Correcto. Mi restaurante de barbecue es tu restaurante de barbecue. Haha! <laughs> Mi casa es tu casa. Su pinche gringo es tu pinche gringo. Sí. Nos vemos. Ah? Gracias. Ciao. Thank you.